Alright, so this is my friend's Minecraft server, and he just reset it. Nice. Everyone hated the spawn, so he decided to reset the world. That unfortunately means that my base is now gone. Luckily, we still keep everything that we had last time. So let's jump right in and start playing. Hey, future me again. The start of the recording for this video cut off, so I'm voiceovering it now. Basically, I just found a little hidey hole, chucked all my stuff in a chest, and uh, then started mining. And now we got footage again. Alright, I'm hearing some burning outside, so that means that the skeleton's probably burning alive, which is very good. Let's make up a couple of shovels and get terraforming. And now let's just start digging out the hole. Alright, chorus flute uh, planted. Ew, there's a skelly out there. <laughs> now let's plant a tree out there so we can get some wood when it grows. And let's continue digging out our hole. Did I just unintentionally create a mob grinder? I think I did. Woo, let's go. And yeah, now we're basically back where we started in the other server. The other thing is, it, it does look pretty bad. And uh, we are near a jungle, so I'm going to collect a few bamboo as well. Okay, yeah, that's more than enough. Let's get out of here before we die. Now let's start growing some bamboo. Alright, I think I'll leave it at this for now. This is looking pretty good. And uh, I'll be back in just a moment, and we'll start doing some actual cool shit. And we are back. And as you can see, I have made a few changes to my base. So let's go through everything I did off camera because I was too excited to record. Basically, I made uh, my front door look kind of cool, but also kind of like a jail cell. Found some lava, made a nether portal, made a little wheat farm. Got a kelp farm down here. And if we head through this portal, we got a little box around it. So we're nice and safe in here. Got some doors. And of course, got a little trap door down here. And the guy who's going to kill me. <laughs> Um, why isn't Enderman mad, bro? I'm, I'm freaked out. But anyway, if we come down here, you can see I got this giant tunnel. <gasps> oh, shit. Um, bro, how did he even get mad? Okay, anyway, let's, uh, let's go back and grab my stuff. Anyway, as I was saying, if you go down this trap door and you go all the way to the end of this tunnel, I have made a little blaze farm. Basically, <laughs> I just blocked off everywhere except for three blocks in front of this spawner. And, um, now I can just kill the blazes that spawn. Nice. That's basically it. Now, because we got chorus fruit and because we got blaze rods, we can make a bunch of end rods. And I love end rods. They look sick. And, yeah, that's basically it. And now let's see what I need to do. I'm going to start by making a mine. I got a spot dug out just for that. Hey, finally, I found some iron. Um, I'm going to just make an iron pickaxe because this is taking way too long. Well, I just dug into a cave and normally I would just seal it all off, but I don't think I want to seal those off. And we have secured the diamond. Alright, uh, that's enough mining. I'm out of here. Hey, yo, more diamonds. Let's go. Um, and I think on my list as well, I had redstone. So, it's good that we found some redstone. Let's, uh, let's grab it all. And we are almost at diamond level in three, two, one. Nice. Now let's make up a little room. And I can start building up my elevator. Alright, uh, so let's put a sign and then put some water here. That's where I fall down from. And now we can build up this middle section. And once this water flows down, I can put cell sand here and kelp here. Now we can jump down here, break this, and we should have a water elevator. Nice. Also, we're going to ignore all these hoes that I have in this chest because my friend Jimbo came along before when I wasn't recording and he gave me a bunch of diamond hoes. Don't ask why, I, I don't know either. So we can now tick off and make a mine and also get redstone. Nice. And I reckon these ones we'll do next time, but the last thing I want to do for today is make an iron farm. So let's do that. Alright, let's see if we can find some villages now. Ideally, I want some by the water so I can just carry it over on a boat. That'll be so much easier than placing job site blocks. Alright, yeah, that seems actually pretty close to the water. Let's try and lure one over. And of course, there has to be a giant ravine right here. Oh no, don't tell me they're all gone. Ah, oh, someone's been making their base here. Oh, it's Jimbo. Hey. Um, no, I, I need villages, not a diamond helmet, man. <laughs> He's just... Okay. Oh, wow. Um, wow. Thank you. Jim. Well, uh, Jimbo said he doesn't have any spare villages right now, so we gotta go find a better spot. Let's go travel off in this direction and see if we can find another village. Oh wait, that's another village over there. And this one's actually pretty close to my house. Let's hope no one's taken this. Oh no, someone's raided it. But there is a villager. Alright, let's take this guy over and then come grab the next guy. Now, where am I gonna build this iron farm is the main thing. Honestly, probably just over here in the ocean. Oh, and... Uh, this is great. I think Curve left some sheep here. Bro, stop. 
So let's go grab some iron, and now we can make a pair of shears, and grab some wool for beds. Alright, and now we just hope the villager is fun enough to come all the way up here to get these beds. Oh, don't go that way. Alright, while we wait for it to become nighttime so that he'll actually go to his beds, let's go grab the other villager. Here he is. Grab him in a boat. This guy's like, where are you taking me? And I'm like, to prison. Get wrecked. Side note, where are my feet? Yes, there we go. Now they're going up. You go up to your house. Easy, baby. Now let's make the kill chamber. Nice. We're gonna need a sign here, here, and here. And we're gonna need a... And we're gonna need to wait till we actually get some iron in order to make the uh, collection system. So while we wait for that, let's go find ourselves a zombie to put in this place. Okay, this is a zombie, but this is a creeper. Ow. And a skeleton. Long story short, I definitely did not get a zombie, so uh, I'm gonna come back to it tomorrow and see if I can grab one then. Alright, so I've been trying to get a zombie for ages, but none of them seem to be picking up items, which is how I'm gonna stop it from despawning. And I don't have a name tag, but I was just talking with Jimbo, and he has a name tag, and he has an anvil, so he's gonna let me yoink it. Oh, yo, he just, he just gave it to me. Holy crap, dude, what? Where did he get all this? Oh my gosh. Oh, I think I just figured out where he got it. He has a hoglin palm. Man, we love Jimbo. Jimbo, we love you. Guys, show some love in the comments for Jimbo. And because I got this name tag, it means all I have to do is get a zombie over there and then we should be good. And I think we have our candidate. Hey, what's up, man? You're about to be Jathan. Now I just gotta get him in that hole. <laughs> come on, man. No, come on, go in the hole. Yes, finally. And he shall be Jathan. Nice. And the farm is working. I just gotta get this iron golem away. Goodbye. And yeah, perfect. So now it's actually producing iron. The only thing is I do not have enough stuff to make a hopper. But I can just stand here and collect all the rewards. Now that I have iron, I can go ahead and make a crafting table, make some hoppers. Now we have a fully functioning iron farm. And that is gonna be it for today's video guys. Hope you enjoyed. Next time we'll get to work on fixing up the house, making everything look much nicer. Alright, that's all. Bye!